Hello and welcome to Aqua Lifestyle. I'm Glenn and I was recently invited to the debut of Mercury's new 600 horsepower V12 outboard. Now along with these amazing outboards we got to check out some incredible yachts that were built with these motors specifically in mind. The first of those yachts is the all-new Formula 500 SSC, an incredible crossover sporting 2400 horsepowers worth of these amazing outboards on the back. So let's check out the boat and do a walkthrough and see what you think. I'm Scott Porter, the president of Formula Boats. Uh, we build these fine boats in Decatur, Indiana. We're on the brand new Formula 500 SSC. This is its debut here with Mercury, and we're debuting their brand new 600s on it, four of them. They shared with us not all the specifics, but they shared with us enough generalities that we knew we could head toward developing this 500 SSC with these 600s. So, uh, as I say, we didn't know all the details, but we did uh, we did know enough that uh, it was just really, really helpful. So we have a great partnership with Mercury, and the boat just performs extremely well with these uh, 600s. Because of, of the design that they did where, where the, the head doesn't turn, we're able to really crunch those things together pretty tight set up as pairs and a little bit wider gap in the middle so we set them out so that when you're joy in joystick mode it gives you a little more control. It allowed us, this design also allowed us, we always do very large platforms on the back of our SSCs and this allowed us to do platform extensions on each side and we even have a carbon fiber gangway that you can switch from side to side that can go back up to a dock in the rear if you need something like that. Equipment over here, getting all mechanical, uh, all our battery switches. We have a rear joystick for docking. Uh, we have had a few people ask for that, so we decided to do it. We have an engine flush, which obviously is not as critical in fresh water where we are today, but in salt water, that's very nice. So we just hook a hose up inside this compartment and punch the button. So our hookups are right down here and we can flush out our engines. It's an automatic flush system. Storage for fenders back here. We have a lot of storage throughout the boat. We have, I don't even know how many speakers. We have a lot of speakers throughout the boat and a subwoofer in every zone. And our main shore power is coming in with the uh, right here and we have a Glendenning system on it, so it's retractable with the 50 amp shore cards, pretty heavy. So right. that makes it very nice. Right. A beautiful accent lighting throughout the boat, and the uh, it, it, it is adjustable in color. We have, I think we have about seven preset colors, or you can do your own custom uh, color, whatever you might want to do there. So yeah. that's, that's pretty neat. Very large storage area underneath the sun pad. And uh, this one we happen to have with a custom painted sea bottom. So, <laughs> fantastic. Pretty neat. Uh, don't have to get that, it is an option, but uh, this one we decided to actually paint to match the boats. So it's, it's just gorgeous. That's mm -hmm. Stereo controls in each of the zones, and you can source a different source with the stereo in each of the different zones if, if you would want to. And then Right here we have a grill, a splash guard. If it's at night, you want a little light, just pop that guy up right there. Very nice. Very nice Corian. We have several different designs of Corian that you can choose from. Now we're moving ourselves into the aft cockpit. We have several we call smart zones in the boat where you can entertain either here into the salon forward zone this is a really fun uh, l-shaped not just cooler box it has it has chiller plates in it so it has its own compressor 
system and you can take that down to be a refrigerator or a freezer also nice. if you want. So it's about 50 gallons with both of the sections there. Drink holders throughout, USB ports all over the boat. This is one of the hatches into the uh, equipment room. There are no latches on it. It's got a remote latch in the back and that pops up. Very large, nice bar area, big U-shaped seating over here on the port side. Again, we have, if you're out entertaining at night, we have a nice pop-up light that you can use to add a little bit more light in the back. There's also a cover that goes over this that's kind of hidden. Formula just really details everything. So here we have the, the cover for this, and it's got its own little storage place. Very really nice, right here. It's storage throughout. Got speakers all over the place. So we, we have a bar set up here, and very nice. Um, you can you can close this off. So we have a sunshade also in the back here. Very nice. And then also with the bar, you can you can either close the salon up or, or open it up, whatever you like to do. So very nice. Yeah, you can really open it up. Don't pass the ad on this side you have to cut the door. Very nice. So then coming on into the uh, salon area, we have a nice U-shaped galley, full bank of drawers, all hardwood dovetail construction, a lot of storage throughout. Filled out place for trash. Nice sink. Double stack drawers that can either be refrigerator or freezer. So there, again, just like in the back, that's your choice. Very nice. Convection microwave. Again, a lot of nice storage. This is a, a twin stove top that's induction. And then a nice little hidden place here. There's so many remotes that come with the boat and right. or other tools for cooking you might want to use that can take things away. Storage everywhere, it's fantastic. Absolutely, and underneath the, the far side, there's a fair amount of storage. This is a bar center that pulls out, so you have a lot of bottle storage, place for things. These are all tempered glass, glassware. You also could trade this out for a two zone wine cooler if someone would, would prefer doing that. Very nice. Ice maker. There is a separate reservoir underneath the seat, so you can bring aboard your own purified water and make your ice. Fantastic. And then as you make that, if you want, you can actually put it in this Yeti. Oh, fantastic. So, you know, we've utilized storage completely throughout the boat. Every place there is just fully utilized. This is a control system for uh, for the boat. So we have different controls. We have a smart system on the boat. You can actually do your lighting. You can do your stereo, HVAC, a lot of different things you can control. Uh, we also can duplicate this at the dash if we want, but that's that's very nice. This is control for our HVAC in the in the salon area, and this is for our cockpit light, or I'm sorry, our underwater lights. That's control for that. So two air conditioning systems in the salon. There's a this is a thirty thousand BTU unit under here blowing out on the starboard side. On the port side, we have an eighteen thousand BTU unit mounted underneath, and that's blowing out on that side. So we have a really nice table set up. You can either for entertaining or if you're going to eat these will flip out and give you a lot more heating space. This is very nice. I can expand 
my seating on this side with jump seats. There are, there are two of them. This one will pop out also. They're really neatly engineered. We did that and, and engineered that system, and those just pop back in and stay in place. So, oh, that's a nice place. Everything has a place for, for storage. Nice sunroof up above. These are fixed panels in the back. This front panel moves and it comes back and parks completely over the aft one, but you have just a tremendous amount of, uh, of skylight there. Fantastic. There is something very neat here. 65 inch TV that pops up. Sound bar overhead, and there's a subwoofer underneath the seat on the on the far side here. Fantastic. Yeah, so a lot of a lot of great features, and then at the helm with our electronics, we have two 24-inch Raymarine screens, another 12-inch Raymarine screen down below that uh, we could put. You really have captain's choice of whatever you want to show on those screens and they can be divided into quarters this is the mercury readout system for the engines fantastic this control that it's blacked out right now is for the sea keeper uh, we have a sea keeper nine on the boat so a gyro stabilizer that works really really well and we have charging points for your cell phone on both sides of the, of the helm. Very nice. And Mercury's brand new control for their for their engine. So that's just a brand new unit and then the uh, joystick for docking the, docking the boat. Wing vents up in the front here and those are actually electric actuated. Then we go forward to our, our forward zone. We have uh, three compartments in the side here. This is a, uh, a line locker and it has grooves that are vented so that that can air itself out. And the boat comes with six Mustang life jackets. So they're all, they have their own places for storage. Fantastic. Right here. And then if we want to block off the front, we have this really robust weather door and then this just slides on across so if we're underway and we'll have that closed after that then we're out very nice fantastic throughout in the design we have a brand new rail system this is the first that we've done it uh, in any of our boats it's a rectangular stainless system and this has a really beautiful shape to it very sleek yes mm -hmm. I like it and in the front, like all of our SSCs, we have twin tables that are motorized that go down into the floor. Those can individually be controlled to come up, uh, can have filler cushions put in or come up to be a table. A great lounge in the area all around. And a couple more of the little pop-up lights up here so you can light up the, the zone at night. Very nice. We also can put up a sunshade up in the front these little guys pop out right here and the poles go up and a front scrim system up here so we can block some of the sun off. Very nice. Fantastic. A lot of room up here. Oh, there is. Uh, it's just amazing. You could take a lot of people out on the boat. And these are the, the controls for the, for the table. So again, individually, we can bring them up or, you know, put them down. Stop them in between wherever you'd like. You can make this a huge lounge area too to, to lay back Absolutely just by raising the tables. Can. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Again, there's there's a subwoofer in every zone. And then coming down below. The personality of a Super Sport crossover is really a big day boat that you could take a lot of your friends out and, and mostly do day boating, but we really do have some very nice accommodations down below. 
This is a little settee area that the table will drop down, filler cushions go in, and those backrests pop up and there's a footwell on up. It's probably two feet farther forward. So you have a very nice sleeping area. Storage on each side for bedding. The backrests pop down. Very nice. Very nice uh, light that can come in through the uh, port lights. We have blinds for the sides and these are really neat. They're electrically blinded. They're electroluminescent. So if I hit a switch, privacy, not. Nah. Just with a flip of the switch. Fantastic. And again, blind, electrically controlled blinds on each side. A lot of storage throughout. We have a wine cooler down below right here. Slim little design. 32 inch TV up in the front with a sound bar system. Very nice. And then in the galley area, again, back with just many, many drawers. All the drawers are lined with a matte material. Again, they're all hardwood dovetail construction. This would be our main shore power panel. Very nice. Another bank of stemware, a zone control for the stereo right here, HVAC control for the cabin area. And the boat comes with an iPad and there are a couple of charging ports that you can just put it right up to and it will charge it up. So you can access all of your electronic controls from that. So you can do your HVAC, your, your, your uh, lighting, your stereo. Another place for trash down below. We have a Keurig coffee maker. That's an essential. Absolutely. <laughs> Another refrigerator down below so two very large ones in the in the uh, salon and right. then the big 50 gallon one in the back in storage throughout everywhere you look we're using every square inch that you can back in there too. this does fantastic you can never have enough storage no even we've even utilized all of the space underneath the stairs with drawers and kind of a really neat deal is we built in a Dyson vacuum system that you can take around in the boat. Uh, many of our boats have a built-in vac system but this we wanted to have this one be a little bit more portable absolutely because the boat is so large you can get to right. all parts of it so fantastic. And then down it is there actually is this would be the main sleeping compartment. Uh, so queen size berth, memory foam mattress, very large port lights on each side. So you get great lighting down here. Again, electronically controlled blinds on each side of the boat. Fantastic. We have induction chargers for your cell phones. Uh, there's another charge port where you can put your uh, iPad. Places to plug in a lot of electronics down below. Here. Surprising amount of room down here. Too. There is. It's it's full beam, and the beam of the boat is 14.6, so you get a lot of space down. A lot of space. If you want to come down and, and just kind of hang out and read a book, uh, enjoy a cup of coffee, uh, get a really nice space to do it. Here. Fantastic. Incredible boat. It's it's quite a machine. It really is. And then the head compartment is very large and has its own own stall shower a lot of beautiful corian wow. throughout it's huge very nice and i think i mentioned that the lighting system you can control that with many different colors of lights and that will change throughout the boat Again, a lot of storage in there and a blind system to cover the little port light. Fantastic. Not only an amazing boat, but an amazing running boat with the new 600. It's just fantastic. So with the walkthrough complete, we headed out to give it a test ride.
it was incredible to note how quiet the motors were at idle. Just super, super quiet. Just heard a very, very faint rumble. Actually, the generator made more noise than the motors themselves. Just listen to them wind up here and let's get going. The way the formula ran could only be described as smooth and luxurious. We were doing close to 70 miles an hour and over 50 mile an hour turns effortlessly. The combination of power, the auto trim, and the two-speed transmission meant getting up on plane with virtually no bow lift at all it was just smooth and easy. It was clear to see that this boat was designed with these motors in mind. It just perfect match and a perfect fit. The formula performed flawlessly and sporting 2400 horsepower of Mercury's V12 outboards, this crossover could easily be described as the ultimate day cruiser or weekend cruiser. Take a group of friends out, be in a luxurious comfort, and get there fast. To learn more about this incredible yacht, you can visit formulayachts.com. There you'll find all the specs, details, options, and features of this amazing yacht. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll know when the other videos in this series are live. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.